This is uh, Kyle with Once Lost. I'm just wanting to uh, to encourage you today. Happy Father's Day to all you uh, to men out there that uh, have children. Some that didn't even have uh, children, but um, you know that that have been presented as a father uh, figure to some out there. You know, necessarily we today in the world have definitions of fathers, but um, I just want to show you a godly example today in First Kings chapter two. Uh, verse 1 it says now the days of David drew nigh that he should die and he charged Solomon his son so this is David approaching his son and instructing him the way that the Lord has has called him to and this is David speaking he says I go the way of all the earth be thou strong therefore and show myself a man keep the charge of the Lord and thy God to walk in his ways to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest and whithersoever thou turnest thyself that the Lord may continue his word which he spake concerning me saying if thy children take heed to their way to walk before me in truth with all their heart with all their soul there shall not fall thee said he a man on the throne of Israel God is God is charging Solomon telling him because he knows who's the throne, who, who he's giving his kingship over to, and who will reign next. And he's instructing him to follow the Lord's commandments, because without that, our kingdoms will fall. Without that, without the authority given by the Lord himself, we have nothing here. And it's only given by the Lord. And so this is a perfectly in, perfect instruction that, that a father has gone and, and showed the next king, the next one to come, the next generation. Um, on how to live and that's only by God's instruction. Um, I was challenged today We were at church and, and I was listening to uh, Trevor and I just wanted to him encourage you real quick, too So I'm gonna pass it over to him and uh, just think about these things that the Lord has instructed us Hello I'm driving so if I don't make much sense it's because I'm concentrating on the road and trying to do this while I drive so but I was just encouraging people today in church that, you know, many of us, we had fathers and maybe they were good examples, maybe they weren't good examples. You know, my dad was a good example. He wasn't a believer in the Lord, so he didn't bring me up in the ways of God. Um, so when I hear passages like this, I think, oh, you know, I would have really loved if my dad brought me up in those ways. But I had a brother who did. So that's something. He, w he was the only one born again in our family, which, which is fantastic. So I suppose my encouragement to you today is that whether your father was not good or bad, but whether your father was a believer or not a believer, whether he set a good example for you, even if he wasn't a believer, a good example, because people can do that of the world, you know, whether he did that or whether he didn't, um, I want to encourage you today that you have a father in heaven and he loves you very much and he sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for your sins and for my sins. And he, Jesus Christ rose again on the third day and he's sitting at the right hand of the Father now and he intercedes for us and, he's, and he prays for us and he loves us. And we have a father who gave up his only son um, to die on a cross for us, to die a, die a harrowing death, to die a death that is beyond description. Um, and we have that example of a father giving up his son for us, you know. And as we have, as I said, as we have earthly fathers, maybe they've been good role models, maybe they haven't, maybe today brings up sad feelings for you, maybe you have happy memories, you know, maybe you maybe you have none, you know, maybe you didn't have a dad in your life, maybe you haven't had a father figure, but I just want to encourage you, whether you did or didn't, that we all have uh, God the Father, he loves us very much, and if you're not a believer in him today, I would hope that you would put your faith in him and your trust in him uh, beyond and over and above any man that we would put our faith and trust in because he does and i must have said it about 50 times by now but i'll say it again he loves us he loves us beyond any earthly love that we can imagine his love for us is so much more than than we even know or comprehend so reach out to him today he loves you if you don't know him he loves you and he wants to know you uh, if you do know him be encouraged today Amen. Um, and and just know that he wants to continue on in the relationship with you so be in good relationship with god our father today and thank your fathers as well for the example that they've been to you as well on this day amen
<laughs> Praise God. Praise God. I hope you guys are challenged by that. And, and we say happy Father's Day to all of you uh, men out there. Uh, praise God. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. All right.